it's Michelle from the Scattered Scrapper and welcome to my channel. Today is day nine of Scrappoween. It's Saturday and it's time for uh, the first little flip through of the pages that I've completed in my October daily. So let's get started. The first page in my October daily is just my introduction page. It says October 2021, and it has a little um, ephemera from October afternoon, and I tied a little bow here, and some puffy stickers, and sewed a little tab on. My next page is this cute little ephemera from October afternoon. Um, it would have really been fun if the October 1957 had have started um at the same day, but unfortunately it didn't, but it was so cute and I just wanted to use it. So that's just the back side of that page. And then my first story is about our very first trip to the spirit store. This one is actually from September, but because it is the kickoff of the Halloween season, it is going to be in my October daily. And here's just a little tab that actually or tag that slips in and goes with the next story, which is about this series. And I have little die cuts here with little stickers, and my little tag here has the story um, on how it came about that I decided to do Scrappoween this year. And that just goes back in there. The next little flip here I have is a tag that I sewed a little ribbon tab on. Put some um, paper reinforcer reinforcers to um, hopefully keep it from ripping out. And it is the story about our Halloween decorations. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I tend to decorate in stages. There's certain things that comes out October 1st. Every year they come out like our um, skull that goes on our front door and my um, mugs by the coffee machine. And I put up Mr. Pumpkinhead in the front yard. And this year I got a special treat because we actually have goldenrod in our backyard and I don't recall ever having goldenrod in our backyard and I was so excited to see it because I love it. I think it's beautiful and it is really great for the pollinators. It helps to attract pollinators. So um, if you're a gardener wanting a fall garden, you're going to want some goldenrod. Um, you actually aren't allergic to goldenrod. It's ragweed. That's the problem. Um, unfortunately, goldenrod has a bad rap. But the next story is um, about my daughter going to the movies and here I just made a little flip page to tell the story and there's some personal information there that I just covered that up but that she went and saw Venom 2. She had not seen Venom 1 before it was decided to go and see this movie so um, I didn't get a picture of it, but a couple of days prior, we all sat down as a family and watched Venom 1, and we enjoyed Venom. Um, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, and just this little tag is decorated here. And this page is heavily inspired by Pretty Little Pocket. I just thoroughly enjoy her videos and the inspiration that you get from her uh, October Daily and even her um, planner spreads and things is just wonderful. I love watching her channel. I'll link her down below. Here's the shaker that I made in my um, preparation pages or pre-planning pages. And on the back I put, there's my favorite mug here that I have hot chocolate in and my favorite Halloween socks so far. It's got the jack-o'-lantern face on them, and there's an October afternoon 
um, die cut and tag, and it just says, love my jack-o'-lantern socks and black cat mug. And I do. And then these are some little Tim Holtz stickers that says amusements and a huge black cat. And I have backed it with some tool that's orange and has glitter on it. And unfortunately, that glitter likes to fall off. So if you use some like that, then um, be prepared. It's going to get it everywhere. Have one of those little Swiffer duster things and that'll help pick it up. And since I did this, that's where I got this um, little leftovers here to use in this tag. And then here is another of my pre-planning pages. And I put this little ghosty from crepe paper behind it so that he's saying boo. And there he is. And then my last story that I have recorded so far um, was the hashtag Facebook down when Facebook went down and I went on to the uh, on Google to find out what was going on and one of the news articles that I read said something about people on Twitter so I went over to Twitter to look through the hashtag Facebook down and some of the things that people were posting about were so funny that I screenshotted them and I had to include them on here. Um, this one might be my most favorite. I laughed so hard at this. It says, guess he's making a comeback and it's AOL Instant Messenger. Could you imagine? Is that even still a thing? Does AOL still exist? I don't even know. <laughs> This one, me waiting for the Facebook and Instagram to come back to normal. <laughs> I thought this one really worked for um, October. And then this one is the Wi-Fi was not an imposter. I thought that was so funny. And you can't see him, but there's one of those little guys from Among Us. Oh, And then, of course... I survived the Facebook Instagram blackout of 2021 and then here in this pocket I have the little story that I put and I'm, I might put like some kind of a little tab or have I, something to help to um, bring attention to that because um, it can get kind of lost in that center pocket there and this pocket is also Heavily, heavily inspired by um, Tanya on Pretty Little Pocket. Um, again, I will link her channel below um, and check her out. And you can also be inspired by her. And that is my first week's worth of recording. I'll probably just maybe decorate that or I'll find another story that I want to tell and put that there as well. And that is all for week one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. It's Sunday, so it will be Kill a Kit Sunday. I will see you then. Bye-bye.